Hey, what's up everybody? It's your, it's your boy One Gun here, and today we are going to do something uh, different. Um, today I'm going to do a tutorial on on doing uh, making dynamic hair out of Dad Studio uh, Dad Studio wigs or hair, which whatever you want to call them. Um, what is red? And so I'm using this Night Fever hair. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just simply export it as an FBX file. There we go. Uh, N I G H E Kiff underscore H A I R. Night hair. I just call it night hair. So I'll just hit save and accept. And what I should have did is, I should have decimated it. Let go and just decimate it down first before I had uh because it this thing is forty three forty three thousand resolution um yeah forty three thousand seven yeah polygons so let's see if we can take this down some to maybe like half that to see let me see how bad that looks. No, see how bad it looks. We'll just have to do a render. Let's try a render. Let's go to render settings. General. Speed of the light. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Let's do a crisp render. No, okay. It's pretty cool. So. Yes. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's, it looks it looks it looks decent. Um, maybe you can like this take this take it down to. Let's see, it's 22. Up, uh, that's fair. I mean, 22. If we take it out even more, it probably be it probably won't look so good. So that's about right. So we're just gonna resave this over what? Okay, I'm gonna export this out over uh, N I G H E over night hair, and just push save, and just hit yes. Um. Everything's okay. Just push accept, and then we're gonna close this up. Yes. No, I don't want to say that. I don't want to say this. No, I'm gonna close this. No. Okay. So that's closed. I'm gonna close that too. I'm gonna go over here to uh, 3D Exchange, and I'm just gonna go open. F and go to my Das FBX folder and I'm going to find my night hair in here somewhere. Night hair studio. Not night hair. Here you go. No, that's ninja. That's night hair. And it's going to import it in. So let's give that a second. Okay, so it's in here, and let me see. Let me try something. Uh, let's see. There we go. Let's turn the auto smooth up. Let's try to turn the auto smooth up to uh, eighty-five. Let's see if it smooths this hair, you know, smooths this wig out a little bit. Yeah, I did a good enough job. And now we're gonna do is just, I'm just gonna send it over. Let's go hit apply to iClone, and then iClone, iClone should open up. There we go. And the hair is gonna be there. So let's give this a second. Okay, there is the hair. In all this full glory. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add one of my custom characters to it. Let's go custom avatar character. Custom character. No. No, no, no. I don't know if I measure her permanent line or not, but uh 
let's try her. Oh, we can get our hair off her head. Uh, let's give her one. Okay, so the hair came in like really, really low. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the scene and get rid of her old hair. So I'm going to go right here. And let's hit delete. And I'm going to take this new hair. This little button here, which is going to bring the widget to the middle, that's the pivot, and I'm just going to raise the hair up to right there. Now my character has a whole, whole different look, a whole great, nice looking look to her now. Nice little look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this hair, and I am going to attach it to her head. So now that she performed anything. So I'm going to go over here to content, animation, motions, heady, uh, baby, where's the persona at? Oh, here we go. Um, Gwen, there it is, heady. But I can't add headies. Here we go. Okay. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to have her do the catwalk. And, uh. Okay, so we add the catwalk to her. And she's going to stop. And what we're going to do is now is start working on getting her hair dynamic. And it's real, it, it's, it's sort of kind of complicated. But bear with me, it's it's not that hard to do. Um, what you want to do is you want to go over here, uh, go to scene, click onto the hair, and <coughs> or is it uh, activate physics uh, sock cloth? Uh, you're, you're gonna get this. This object has multiple materials. Please select the material, and then load a gray map image. Okay. So the thing, the thing about this is, is that you have the skull cap, you have the base, you have the front, you have the top, and you have the wisp. All these are different. Uh, all these are different. Uh, parts of this wig so you have the wisps the top the bangs the base and the front and what you want to do is is that you don't want to do the skull the skull cap you don't want to make that dynamic because that's part of the skull cap and the skull cap mainly stays static uh, you have the base which is the base hair which is which is like the majority of the hair uh, you have the front which is like the bangs you know, which is like the bangs right here. Um, and no, no, actually, it's this part right here. This red part right here. That's the front. That's considered the front. Then you have the bangs, which is this part right here. This, I think it's from here all the way over to there. That's the, the bangs. Um, and the bangs are, uh, as you can see, the front of the, the, the front where it comes over eyes and forehead. And then you got the top which is all the hair up here then you have the wisps and I really don't know what the wisps are but I would probably say it's probably just hair really really thin hair um, like right here around the sides right there which is like you know wisps but all these all these are basically uh, PNG maps uh, over over uh, you know a plain object because it is it's really a bunch of shaped plain objects like like real thin polygons that they put uh, textures on it and they use uh, PNG files for the opacity for these so it's uh, that's the best way I can explain it because as you can see what we're going to be using is we're going to be using let's start with uh, the base of the hair and we're going to start there by basically clicking on this Clicking on this and uh, launching Photoshop. 
and I've seen. And what you want to do with this grace with this grayscale map is uh, you want to uh, I think you want to uh, first add a layer or just a regular layer. And then after you add the regular layer, you have to go in here and uh, do this. Add well, my bad. I think you gotta go like this, and then and then add your uh, if these both the same size, I can like use the texture, but uh, I just do them individually at first. What you gotta do is you gotta lay down the the grays, the uh, you gotta lay down like a gradient gray over this. So, what's white would be moving versus what's black, which isn't moving. Okay, so where was I? Yeah, so what you want to do is you want to take this, uh, this, uh, what type of thing is uh, dancing ants <laughs> square marquee tool, and uh, you want to like come in here and Just bring it around here like so and then press enter and you want to get a uh, your gradient tool out and I think this might work so I'm gonna hit shift I can make a gradient uh, for the uh, for the hair right here and and my gradient goes from black all the way to white because I want the uh, I want the hair to uh, you know bounce around a little bit. But uh, I think that'll work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this. I can hit this and move this over to here. And I'm going to get my gradient tool out. Hit Shift. I'm gonna go straight down. And and I want to keep and uh, keep on doing that for all these until um, I'm gonna keep on doing this for all these until it's done. But what I probably want to do is probably go Control Z, Alt Z, Alt Z, and I'll probably want to go in here and I want to get to a little bit, uh, just a little bit more gray. There we go, right there. Just I want to probably bring this down just a little bit more. It's about right there. I push OK. And then bring it shift again. And yeah, that's cool. And I want to at least you know get some good gray in there because the more white you get in there, the more bouncy the hair is gonna be. And I don't really want the hair that bouncy, so I'm gonna move this butt over and try to do the same thing. You know, I got a little white coming down here, that's fine. So I'm gonna hit shift. I'm gonna bring this down to here. And I am going. Whoops, my bad. Let's hit gradient. And I want to click up here and bring this all the way down to here. And there you have it. And you want to just do that to each one of these until you're done and finished. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on pause, go through all these, and add gradients to every strand of this hair, and then come back and, uh, and, uh, go and come back and, uh, show you. Um, how to save this out and take it back into uh, iClone. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have all these, all the strands of hair. I have all the strands of hair blocked out in gray. So I'm going to go to File, Save As. I'm going to put it on my uh, desktop. <coughs> As a, uh, do a uh, PNG. I think it's PNG. Yeah, maybe. And uh, I should just make a folder for it. Let's make a folder for it so it's easy to find. I'm gonna name it uh, N I G A T H. This under 
underscore H A I R. And I'm gonna put that map right here. And hit this. And let's go back to iClone. And let me click this. Click on that, and that is the base, right? So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's see what I've what I've done. Uh, let's just have cloth. Let me go to hair. I'm just gonna do straight, and let me see what happens when I click this button. As you see, oh, oh, oh I have to go back and uh, fix the map. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the brightness down some. Brightness down some and turn the contrast down and yeah, that's what happens when you don't do it right. So I'm probably have to go back here and darken up some of those grays in there. So let's uh, go back and let's see what happens. Okay, problem solved. Yeah, her is, her is slightly moving. You can see it slightly. So, so you can see her hair like slightly moving. Oh, let me just let's see. Hold on. Let me just create camera. Create camera, and I'm going to parent it. Root? Is it this root or is it this? Uh, let's try this root. Uh, let's, let me see. If, let me see if I got this. Let me see if it this works. Okay, let me hit play. See if this camera moves with her. Yeah, as you can see, the hair is the the base of the hair is actually moving. There we go, and that's what we want. All right, so now we're gonna hit stop, and we're gonna go back to scene. We're gonna click back on our hair again, and we're going to repeat the same process by just hitting the physics and soft cloth. map so we just did the base so now we're just gonna do the front and we're gonna click onto this and then have that launched and we're gonna do the same thing just gonna take the uh, we're gonna add a new layer and then grab this come over here and just uh, do select around these and just go over each one just go over each one until you uh, until everything is gray and blocky just like this one so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off these and uh, then we're gonna you know put it all into uh, uh, iClone so uh, just bear with me and I'll be right back after I finish everything alrighty then um, I just got to finish doing the top right here inside of uh, Photoshop and I, what I did is I did a time lapse of it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, let you all watch the time lapse of what I did. And as soon as you finish with that, uh, I'm going to go do the wisp. And after I do the wisp, uh, well, actually, while y'all watching that, uh, I'm going to go back and finish the whips up and uh, finish it all. But this is what I got so far after I did the top. And I did a, like a, uh, I guess I did a time lapse so you all can see what I did and the, I think the whips the whips for the last ones I did those are the ones that are not moving and as soon as I finish with those um, I want to go back and the last thing you got to do to this figure is put some uh, collisions inside of the head and maybe one inside the neck so when I come back um, 
as you finish watching this how I did the top uh, in Photoshop just uh, sit in tight and just wait for me to come back to do this all right so here you go enjoy
Okay, I'm back and everything's done. I've done all of the. Done, I've done everything and you get everything inside of uh, Photoshop. Here are all the uh, gray maps uh, for the hair. And we're just going to play with this. And uh, so far, that's a pretty good result right there. That's pretty good. Now we don't have to worry about the face, nothing like that. All we have to do now is worry about uh, the collisions. And in order to get the collisions done, we're gonna have to go. Uh, mm, how do we? Oh, we have to go to the body. Ha, I knew that. And no, cancel, cancel, cancel. I have to go over here. No. And yeah, you gotta go to the the first modify panel here and hit collision shapes. And inside collision shapes, I have two screens, so I'm trying to do this right. So um, let me turn my collisions on. The head activate, and I'm gonna try the neck to activate that on the neck. I may not need the neck, but you never know. So we're just gonna just grab this. And just make this as big as we can. Um, this is a capsule, so I can like pull it up. Yeah, there we go. And I'm just going to take this and move this inside of here, like so. And maybe make it a little bit bigger. Just a little bit. It's a tad bit bigger. And make it a little bit bigger this way. Two. Maybe pull it back a little bit. It's about right there. And let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Alright, so it's not colliding. Okay, so maybe it can be. You gotta just, you just gotta play with it. Make it a little bit bigger. And maybe I'll pull it back a little bit further. Let's see, let me see if that works. Nope, that's not working either. Um, let's see. Physics. Uh, I think I got the right one. still going through her head so hmm. hold on Google project okay it's not doing that so I have to figure out what the heck's going on with her hair why is her hair let's try a different position on the on this This works. Okay. Well, let's try something else. Let's try to go into the hair itself and maybe bring it forward a little bit. Bring it forward a little bit. Better. Bring it forward a little bit. Now let's see what happens. There we go. Paris doing some crazy stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, go into my camera. Modify it. from it.
here's another thing about the hair. You probably I'm probably gonna have to go back and adjust the uh, weight maps. Cause it's where's the weight? And I think it's not the base. So maybe the maybe the base that needs to be darkened a little bit. Okay, let me let me let me try that. Let me see if that works. I think that worked. Yeah, there we go. Hair is perfect now. It's great. So, uh, it was worth the work, you know. Just putting a little work to uh, get you nice, nicely well-made hair. And then, you know, you go over to your project and you hit bake animation. And you just go ahead and just push play. Just cut the soft clock simulation off, and the hair will play back every time. And I can actually go back into the uh, the the front, the bang area, and actually make that a little bit more bouncy. And before I do that, let me uh soft cloth and bake animation and let me grab the hair and over here in the timeline I'm gonna go to root so that's the hair right there and go to soft cloth and I'm just gonna delete that animation because we're going to play with the hair modified because it's oh, here's hair here, here, here. well we have a preset for this so we can just go in here and just add, we can add wavy, see how that works with this. Oh, we can have wavy four and see how that works. Sporties and see how that works. Yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> um, so let's just try straight, see how that looks. You can go here and play with these presets all you want to. Uh, I think the thing is, I have to come like probably come down here and play with these a little bit. I'll hit the edge. I'll hit this again and just hit the uh, bangs and maybe just uh, hmm. Let's see what that we get bangs. Let's make it a little bit brighter. Let's see how that looks. Nope, don't want that. <laughs> All right, so we're going to bring that back down a little bit. Hit play again. Okay, it still moves when we move the hair. I think I'll probably add a little more mass or weight to the hair, to the rest of the hair itself. Um, let's get the base and let's add a little bit more darkness to it. Hit play. That's a little bit better. Yeah, that's a, that's a little bit better. And to the front, I think I'll probably make that just a little bit more darker too. Yeah, that worked too. And bangs. Let's see the top. Um, this is the top, so let's make that a little bit brighter. That might be too bright. Uh, yeah, 
I think that's great. Because it's the top. The top can move a little bit more than the bottom layer. So what you want to do is you want to like start at the base layer and just work your way back up to where it's uh, to where it's it's the lower like it's like this. Hold on, let me explain it a little better. Like you stop start at the base and make that gray tone darker. Then you go to the then you go up to the front and then you're gonna make this a little darker. And then when you get up to like the bangs, actually the top of the head, you probably wanna make that a little lighter. But I'm going to just put a little more contrast in there, make it a little more stiffer, so there her hair is not going through her face no more. That's cool. So this is the end of this tutorial. Um, I hope you all learned something about it. Um, it took me a while to figure this out. And it's not just this character. I have another character I made. I'm just going to move her out the way. Oh, yeah. Move her out the way with her camera. And I'm going to go back into my camera and remove all the animation from her. And I'm just going to just right there and then I'm going to uh, go back to my preview camera and I'm going to go to content my custom characters and I'm going to let's see character let's see where is my guy at I got a guy in here that I made uh, and I, put, I made him with uh, I put dynamic I made most of his outfit and his hair dynamic claw so well as if he get found if I could find him and he's in here somewhere ah crap where is he up here in here somewhere. He may not be over in this direction. He might be in the other direction. Hold on. Hold on. And that's not him. <laughs> One of these guys. Uh, no, 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 no. Ah, I found him. I think he's this guy right here. Let's bring him out. Alright, so here's here's my other character right here, and uh, this is uh, what I did with him is I made his hair um, soft cloth, and I made part of his jacket soft cloth. So when I push the play button, you can see that you know it's it's really co really cool effect if you uh, if you know how to use it. And I, I can go back and adjust the wind and stuff in them, and you know it's. Uh, it, it's, it's just something to bring a little bit more uh, depth to your characters when you take the time and you know use the soft cloth on your characters and both of these is uh this girl right here she's a Genesis 1 figure and this is a Genesis 2 figure right here so uh, I had plenty of fun working on these uh, making him you know making him and then showing you all how to uh, work on her and when these render out they, these are going to look uh, real good, you know, renders, because um, I see, like, the little sh the little hair, like, you know, little dark spots right there, but that's all going to come out when it gets, uh, when it gets rendered, so, this is One Gun Sean, and I'm signing off, I hope you all enjoy this uh, little journey we went on, it was ju just something, I was up late tonight, and I decided why not make a tutorial on soft cloth, you know, get real in-depth with it, and, uh, have you all just uh, watch it and enjoy because uh, I enjoyed making this so I'm out of here y'all hope y'all have a good one and this is one gun shine peace out